The Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews who believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean by saying you will be made free? Jesus answered them, Very truly, I tell you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not have a permanent place in the household. The son has a place there forever. So if the son makes you free, you'll be free indeed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Grace and peace from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Reformation Sunday, and it's uh, my pleasure to, to share God's Word with you. I hope you've had a wonderful uh, month. We aren't quite to the end of October. Perhaps you've already had trick-or-treat night. Perhaps you haven't. Uh, be generous with your candy if children come to the door. And... Um, I guess enjoy this change in season. Wherever you may be, perhaps the leaves have already changed. Perhaps they are changing. I always feel sorry for the leaves because I don't think everyone, I don't think they really know that they are going to change color and then fall to the ground. I don't think that when they're growing and certainly being a beauty to us during the summer months, they have any inkling of what's going to happen to them. The good news, I suppose, is is that they're, they're an important part of our life here on earth, and they p perhaps contribute a lot to the, the joy of fall. And so, uh, you know, be nice to leaves. You know, don't be mean to them and stuff. Their life is short. At least they go out with a bang. Perhaps most of us won't. Let's talk about today's gospel message. It's a very short message, and it's from the Gospel of St. John. It is the same gospel message that in our lectionary is said every Reformation Sunday. So it's not a message you hear every three years. It's literally a message you hear every Reformation Sunday. And it's a message of, of freedom and what it means to be free in Christ. And it means a, a great deal of different things. And I guess the question I would ask to you is, is you know, do you feel the freedom of Jesus Christ? Do you feel... That somehow, because you believe in Jesus Christ, your life is more free and open and joyous than it otherwise would be. See, I don't think people think about their immortal soul or eternal condemnation perhaps the way they did, I don't know, let's say in the Middle Ages. In the Middle Ages, people were concerned about their soul. They were concerned about um, their eternal life. They felt that perhaps if they weren't kind of constantly trying to save themselves through good works, uh, they were ultimately going to be condemned because that was the only way they understood uh, salvation could be attained through good works. Now, happily, uh, we believe that uh, Martin Luther was clear in his understanding that Jesus Christ, the, the uh, sacrifice of Jesus Christ by his death and resurrection, that's how, that's how salvation was won. And it was won for... Um, all time. It's not a historic event that needs to be renewed. Uh, for all time, salvation was won for those who believe. And so kind of this weight of continual, of continual watching and waiting and praying and making sacrifices or otherwise doing good deeds, that is an enormous weight. But maybe now in the 21st century, we don't feel that weight the same way. I mean, it's nice to know that through Jesus Christ, by God's gift of amazing grace, which we have received by faith, we can expect, we can expect and continue to hope for uh, eternal life in Christ Jesus, that one day God will call us into his kingdom, that God will uh, certainly uh, allow us to join other people who we've, we know in life who have been faithful Christians, and that we will be with them in joyous eternity. That's, that's enormous. That's an enormous thing. And we should rejoice in this kind of thing. That doesn't mean we do whatever we want whenever we want to do it. We sin uh, purely because we know that through Christ, uh, you know, God will forgive us anyway. No, no, no. Just the opposite. We live lives of faith 
because we've been forgiven and we know we are free. Now, I want that to stay in your mind today, this idea of being free in Christ Jesus. You're free, not free to do terrible things, but free to do good things, free to help others, free to share what God has given you. Perhaps it's a gift of some sort, perhaps it's monetary um, gift, a treasure of some sort. You're free to be hopeful and generous and kind and thoughtful. You're free to put aside the fears that most people live by. Oh, I will die. That's a terrible thing. Well, yes, it's a terrible thing. But you know what happens after death. Death is not the end. The end belongs to God. And through Jesus Christ, the end is joyful and hopeful and eternal. Be happy. Reformation Sunday should be a happy day for Christians, much like Pentecost should be a happy day. The Holy Spirit has come into the life of the church to remind you that God not only loves you, but God has, through Jesus Christ, has freed you from penalty of sin and death and eternal condemnation. That's a, that's a joyous thing. And so now, even though the world is not necessarily a happy place or a joyous place, there's, there's reasons to be concerned in the world. There's reasons to pray for others. There's, there's still a lot of brokenness and hate. There's still people who simply don't believe that God loves them. Well, even in the midst of that, you could be hopeful and joyful and share the love of Christ with others. I hope that Reformation Sunday will be a blessing to you and to your family. Give thanks for the reformers like Martin Luther, who risked his life to challenge the Pope to explain the gospel in terms that certainly were blessed and wonderful, that were a real, a real breeze of fresh air. In, in, the, in the, uh, the Acts of the Apostles, we hear the story of Pentecost, how the Holy Spirit comes into the house where the disciples are gathered and like a whoosh of air, like a great sound of wind. That great wind still blows through the life of the church, bringing freshness and newness and possibilities that we can't understand. Rejoice that God continues to love you, that your sins have been forgiven, and that through Jesus Christ, you have the opportunity to share God's love with others. Amen. Trusting in the transformative power of God's loving spirit, let us pray for the church, the world, and all in need. Almighty God, bring understanding and peace where there has been contention and strife. Make wars to cease and violence to end. God of grace, hear our prayer. Creator God, bring relief to areas harmed by wildfires, floods, storms, and human carelessness. Give us wisdom and perseverance to be good stewards. God of grace, hear our prayer. Merciful God, you are our refuge and strength. Draw near to all who suffer in mind, body, and spirit. We especially pray for everyone on our prayer list. God of grace, hear our prayer. Gracious God, teach us to give you thanks for the life that you have given to us. Daily renew our faith and give us hope for tomorrow. God of grace, hear our prayer. Eternal God, free us from complacency. Open us up to new possibilities and give us a passion to lovingly serve all who are in need. God of grace, hear our prayer. Redeeming God, we give thanks for the witnesses of reformers like Martin Luther and all those whose example has brought us closer to you. God of grace, hear our prayer. Gracious God, into your hands we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your unending love and amazing grace, through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.